sisters, friends, comrades, greetings from the Fire Brigade Union across the country to this magnificent demonstration of workers from all sectors of British working class and trade union movement. Our members have been taking strike action over the past year now in defence of their pensions and it's, uh, we bring solidarity therefore to the workers in the health services drop this week for the first time in 32 years to civil servants who've been on strike to defend their living standards people who are fighting against the austerity agenda let's be clear what that is about it is about robbery it's about transferring wealth from the poor to the rich, from the majority to the minority, and from workers to the bosses. This is an agenda, let's call it by what it is, it's the ruling class, their agenda that is about making us pay for the crisis that they and their system and the banks caused in 2007-2008. They tell us there is no money, they tell us there is no alternative, it is an utter lie. They wage a nasty war on the poor, on people with disabilities, on people on benefits, on people who are unemployed. Well, what about corporate welfare? What about the subsidies that are provided to private landlords and to big business and to the banks? That's where we should focus £85 billion a year in corporate subsidies. And when they say there is no alternative, it is an utter lie. Instead of subsidising private landlords, we should build public homes for people to live in. Instead, instead of subsidising the railway companies, we should take over the railways and run them as a public service. Instead of subsidising the thieving energy companies, we should take them over and run them as a public service. Instead of subsidising and failing out the banks who caused this mess in the first place, we should take them over and run them as a public service. That way we would end corporate leeching of the majority, we would end big business sponges, we would end billionaire benefit cheats, and we would place the blame for this crisis where it really lies with those at the top, with big business, the billionaires and their system. They tell us there is no alternative. Well, our people have been told that throughout history and we've only ever made progress when we've rejected it and organised to fight back. That's how we defeated slavery. That's how we won the right to be in unions. That's how we won the vote. That's how women won the vote. By getting organised and fighting back. And that is the chance before us today. They tell us there is no alternative. There is plenty of resources to provide health services, to provide decent wages and to provide decent pensions. It is simply in the wrong hands. Yeah. And our task, our task is to organise as never before and to challenge the cuts, to challenge the wage cuts, to challenge the robbery of our pensions and to say we will build a movement as you have never seen before that will take power out of their hands and put it with the majority where it really belongs. Thank you very much. Solidarity.